Hey guys, it is day one of Booktubeathon, and full disclosure, it is almost 10 p.m., so sorry for kind of sucking, but I do have progress for you, so I'll update you with that now. So, today I have finished a book slash graphic novel, read some pages, and so I listened to 52 pages of Yes, Please by Amy Poehler. This was not on my TBR, but I was reading it for the biannual bibliothon, and I haven't finished it yet, and I want to finish it tomorrow, I think, and I think I have like, so I'm on page 253, and I think it has 329 pages, so I'm hoping I can listen to the rest of this tomorrow while I work out and like do laundry and stuff, so Hopefully this will get done. Obviously not the whole thing, but I am that far in, as you can see. Not that much left to go. Good progress. And then the graphic novel that I started last night at midnight was Lumberjanes Volume 5, Band Together. And I finished this while I was at work today. Also, I worked from 10 to 6 today, so that is part of the reason why I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to today. And so this was four stars and it was so good. I loved it. The other book that I've been reading today is The Archived by Victoria Schwab and I'm on page 38. I, I'm going to read a little bit more before I go to sleep tonight. I have it on ebook as well so I can read it at night while my husband's sleeping. So this is my progress for day one. I'm sorry that I totally forgot that I was going to vlog until I was updating Instagram and then I was like oh my gosh I promised a vlog for Booktubeathon so that's happening. <laughs> also I wanted to let you know that I posted a Instagram challenge today and the Instagram challenge for today was to post the book or series that got you into reading and the book that got me into reading was The Magic Treehouse if you haven't seen my Instagram post. So I wanted to explain it because I know some people don't read the captions on Instagram, but I thought this was a pretty good caption, so I was just going to share it with you. When I was in second grade, I had a teacher named Miss Campbell, and she read a Magic Treehouse book to us one time. And I remember I fell in love with the story of Jack and Annie and their adventures in their Magic Treehouse. And so I remember I went to the store one time with my mom and there was a book there called Pirates Past Noon. And it was one of the books in the Magic Treehouse series. And I remember begging my mom to buy it. And she was like, she was like, you can only buy it if you read it today. I was like, okay, mom, I'll read it in today. And I remember I read that whole book in that day. And I know that they're super short, but for a seven-year-old, it was like, that series holds such a special place in my heart. I just think that I wish I could give Mary Pope Osborne a hug because she planted a seed in my reading journey and even though I didn't start reading books like a crazy person until about 14 years later, um, my love of reading and books started with Magic Treehouse and so I wouldn't be here where I am today if I didn't have that book series. So that is my story about my Instagram challenge today. I know it's super sappy, but I just thought that you guys should know. <laughs> That's it for me. See you tomorrow on day two. Bye. Hey guys, it's day two of Booktubeathon, and I'm going to update you on my progress from last night. I finished another book last night. I read most of it during the biannual Bibliothon, and I read 128 pages last night, and so I am officially done with Yes, Please by Amy Poehler, and I loved it. Gave it five stars. During the Bibliothon, I thought I was going to unhaul this and just not read it, but I'm so glad that I did because it was so much more wonderful than I ever thought it would be, and I'm so glad that I finished reading this. It wasn't even on my TBR for this week, but I wanted to have it finished in July, and since this readathon spans from the end of July to the beginning of August, I had to get this done, so woohoo! And it adds to my page count for the week, so it's fine. So far, I have not read any more of the archives. It is 10 a.m. right now, and I'm about to sit and read for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to go work out and read some more while I work out, and then I'll get ready for the day and go to work. 
Hey guys, it's Booktube on day two, and I am currently working on my Instagram challenge for day two, which is the stack challenge. And this is my stack. I wanted to do a rainbow stack, and my husband's helping me. He does not want to be on film, so I'm not filming him, but I'm really excited about this challenge because I think it's going to be really fun and actually look like a bookstagram or took it. It's day two of booktube -thon. I don't know if I've updated you. It's late again, and I am currently reading The Archived by Victoria Schwab. I am still reading it from yesterday. I am on page one, 111 now, so I'm 100... So I'm past the 100 page mark, which makes me feel good. And I've been doing like a lot of things today. Like I filmed part of my July wrap up. I ate dinner. I worked. I worked out. And I actually d read about 30 pages while I worked out at the gym. So that was really good. And I think I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow because I can be on the treadmill and do my treadmill workout and then just read this. And I think that's just going to be my gym time this week so I can get more reading done. I am really, really loving this book. This is so much different than I expected. And I just love the world. Like, the way Victoria Schwab writes is just, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And then there's like a murder mystery aspect that I totally didn't expect. And I'm just so excited. And then I just feel like Victoria Schwab is one of those authors that I am just going to love everything that she writes and just love her as a person. So um, it's really exciting. And yeah, I haven't read anything else today. I think I'm going to start... If I finish this tomorrow, I'm going to start Bridge to Terabithia, which I think will be really super short. Um, so yeah. But hey guys, it's Booktubeathon day three, and I am still reading... The Archived by Victoria Schwab. I didn't read any more last night. I ended up watching Nancy Drew. I just looked up Funko Pops before I went to sleep and then I was just not gonna read anymore. So I'm gonna go work out in the workout clothes and I'm gonna read more of this. So bye. Hey guys, it's Hannah and I'm here to update you. It is about 1.05 p.m. on day three of Booktubeathon and I am now on page 162. I've read about 51 pages today, and now I'm going to head to the dentist, and I think my teeth are really going to hurt when I get home, so I think I'm just going to get home and read, and hopefully read the rest of this. I am officially, like, halfway through, and yeah, that's it for me. I will talk to you guys later after I get my teeth aerobrasioned, or whatever that means. Okay, bye. I totally forgot to film an ending clip for day three, and so I am still reading the archived. I have about 80 pages left and I'm planning to stay up until it's done because I just really, really want to finish it. So yeah, I'm reading it on my ebook. So I'm going to turn the lights off and read for a long while. And then yeah. Hey guys, it is booktube -a day four and I'm here to update you with my progress. Okay. So last night I finished the art guide by Victoria Schwab. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I stayed up till about 1.20 in the morning finishing this, so technically I know it was day four, but I don't really count it as day four until I wake up on day four. So, finished this book, loved it, it was amazing. This story was not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to be more ghosty. Instead, the characters that would be ghost are called a history and it's a history of the capital H and it's basically the their memories it's not really them but it's the memories that they carried with them and it was crazy because um this world is split into the archive the outer and the narrows and the world that Mackenzie lives in is the outer, and she is a keeper, has to return histories when they go rogue and get out. And just so much stuff happened in this book. There was a murder mystery aspect that I wasn't expecting, and it just really blew me out of the water. I gave it four and a half stars. I thought I was going to give it five, but honestly, it just kind of lacked the oomph that I was hoping it had. There were times where I was genuinely, like, 
kind of spooked. I thought the fight scenes were written pretty well. I could pretty much visualize them on my head, which is something I have a hard time doing. This was really easy for me to follow along in my brain, and I just really loved it. And also, I listened to rain sounds during most of the ending of this book, and it was fit the mood really well. So, love this book, four and a half stars. Now I'm going to be starting Bridge to Terabithia, which is about 128 pages. I think I can maybe finish this. I'll definitely finish it tonight. I'm just so excited. I think it's going to make me cry. And then I have the movie coming in at the library, so I will hopefully be able to pick that up today and then I can watch it tonight. So that is my update for now and I'm going to go read. It is day four of Booktubeathon and I have yet to start my book. I did a clip earlier saying that I was going to start it and then I didn't. So I am about to read Bridge to Terabithia and I'm excited to get into it. I think this will be a really sad read because I kind of know what happens because I saw the movie first. Oops and it's been out since 1978 so bound to be spoiled but anyway so I'm about to read this book and also I wanted to show you something we got a new comforter today I ordered this quilt off of Zoo Lily and it was like $25 I'm so excited about it our old comfort comforter is over there and it is like pilled and gross and disgusts me but this is so cute. I think my husband kind of hates it because it like kind of looks like a grandma quilt, but I just don't care. But anyway, I am going to start reading Bridge to Terabithia. Hopefully read about half of it, have some dessert, read the next half, and then watch the movie tonight. So hopefully that happens. And then tomorrow, I'm going to start Little House in the Big Woods. That's my plan for now. It is now 10.35 on day four, but... Of book two -bathon, and I am 64 pages into Bridge to Terabithia. Obviously, I have not been reading like every minute of the past three and a half hours because otherwise I would be done with this. But I'm just like trying to like watch people's book two videos, like vlogs and things. And they did the Instagram challenge and dinner and you know did dessert and stuff and so I mean I kind of have been like in this place where I'm feeling bad that I'm not reading more and that I'm not finishing this 128 page book as fast as I think I should so I think I'm also feeling a little slumpy too even though I loved the archived and I loved lumber jeans and I loved yes please and I'm only liking this okay there's a lot of fat shaming in this which I wasn't expecting but also this book was published in like 1977 so you kind of I mean I'm kind of having to give it a pass because I mean it's just kind of that was the world in 1977 they didn't know any better I guess that's one thing that's disappointing me but other than that um the character named Jess in here his mom and dad are awful they're they are so like hateful towards him and they don't like love him and you know tell him to pursue his dreams like they think he should be more in demand stuff and like the dad is like kind of upset that he's friends with Leslie who's a girl and like the mom will be like well Leslie has tactile clothes and it's just like so discouraging and I'm like knowing the end of this book it just is like gonna, I know it's gonna break me because it's like Leslie's his only constant and it's not ready for it but if I don't read the rest tonight I'll finish it tomorrow and then I will watch the movie tomorrow so yeah that's it bye